Hello. So in this tutorial, we're going to be designing this angle bearing, and it's actually an easy part once you figure out what's going on. So start a new part file. Um, I don't have a metric template, so I always just change it. So we'll change our unit because this is metric. So we'll change this unit to metric, um, unit metric, and click OK. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw this rectangular box. This rectangular box. So we are going to click on the top plane because if you look at it, I'm um, looking down on it. So this is like the top. So we're going to click on the top plane and sketch. And just draw a center rectangle. So I click the center rectangle and just draw something like this. Good. And once you have that, we're going to add our start adding our dimension. Um, the length for here is 65. And that is right here. And it is 103 on this side. And while we're here, we might as well add this circle to it too. So that way we can just limit the amount of um, steps we have to use to make it. So draw these two circles and make them click this point holding down the control key click this point too and make them vertical to each other and so clicking one of this point and your origin point holding down the control key again and making it vertical to the origin point so that means these two circles are kind of like vertical to the origin point and click this circle and this circle make them equal to each other so once you select them you see this they are blue holding down the control key select both and you just click your equal relation over here and we can add our dimension to one of this circle which is the diameter is 13 and um, that is over here and we can also add our dimensions to fully define those circles so from here to from the center point of this circle to the center point of that circle is 75 um, from this edge to the center point of that circle is 14 and everything is fully defined there's one more thing we have to do in this step just to prepare so when we have to draw this cylinder uh, it will be easy for us to draw it because this cylinder is not just perpendicular to this face is at an angle and the angle is 60 so what we're going to do is just draw a line somewhere over here just click somewhere on this line and draw a line at an angle going that way so this line represents the center point of this cylinder so uh, we are going to add a dimension to it from this edge to that point of that line is 33 and you can see that over here so the center point of that cylinder 33 and the angle from this face to that line is 60 so click on that line and make it a construction line and once you make it a construction line and you're pretty much done now we go to our feature extrude and we want to extrude it down and it is going to be 25 over here see 25 um, and click OK good we have that we have our cylinder which is the first part so I mean we have our rectangle which is the first part so the second part is drawing the cylinder so to draw the cylinder we need to make a plane that is part that is at a 60 degree angle to this face so what you will do is show this sketch so just click on this drop down right click and show the sketch so if I right click you see the eyeball show the sketch and once I show the sketch, you want to come to your reference geometry plane. And the first thing you want to select is this line, the angle line you drew. And the second point of reference you want to select is that end point. So what that does is it makes the plane 60 degrees to this face. And we use that line as a reference and click OK. So now we have that plane. And all you need to do is just continue doing what you're doing, which is sketch, click this plane, and sketch. And we go number two. So now 
we are just going to draw our cylinder which is right here and the radius is 19 so um, so that's half of it so we're just going to do which is gonna be 38 so because since the radius is half and we are doing the diameter we can we can cut the cylinder in half and just um, you know you know what let's do, cut it in half so because that will make it easy for us to do the next step so at the center point just draw a line closing that and come to the trim and trim this part off so you have something like that and I'm going to delete this and re-add it my dimension and re-add it so now this is going to be 19 so there's a reason why I did it this way and you're going to see it later on so um, my circle is over there but it's pretty much still the same thing so I can rotate it uh, flip it so once we have this we're pretty much done all we need to do is go to feature extrude and you want to extrude through all and direction 2 you also want to extrude through all and click OK so now I'm just going to hide my plane because I don't need it and for now I also hide my sketch because I don't need it um, so we have this right here so all you need to do now is flip it upside down and select this space and draw a sketch and the next thing you do is just go normal to so you see what you're doing uh, select this face uh, click convert entity select this face as well and click convert entity so you just converted those edges to those line your sketch line and you can come to feature extrude cut and you extrude cut in those two sketch you just made and it's going to be true or going up and click OK and there you go you have your um, you have your cylinder at an angle to that which is that's what we want and so moving on uh, the, the, the rest of it is easy now so you can um, let me just figure out where my front plane is so I go um, top plane so we need to be selecting this face I mean it doesn't really matter but selecting this space and sketch um, number two and just draw your circle somewhere on this face and now you can click this point and this edge holding down the control key and make it concentric so that makes this circle concentric to this cylinder so that means the center point of this cylinder and the center point of this circle are on the same point so we are going to add our dimension which is 16 and there's another one trick thing you have to do over here so on this your first sketch um, pull the drop down and show the sketch again so now we as you can see my sketch is there so now we're going to go to feature um, extrude cut we want to extrude cut this but you see it's going in this direction we don't want it to go in that direction we want it to be aligned with this cylinder so what you can do to do that is click inside um, this blue box direction of extrusion normal to profile and you select this line so it puts that extrusion um, normal to this cylinder and you just want to uh, select true all or you can also do up to next and click OK and there you go and we are pretty much done with this sketch we can hide it we don't need it anymore and we have our cut the last thing we need to do is just cut this part so we are going to go to the front so this is our front plane again click here the front plane and on this face sketch and just draw two rectangles but not center rectangle corner rectangle this time starting at this corner just draw um, two rectangles kind of coming like that and make this click this point hold down the control key click this point on this sketch and make them horizontal to each other so add a horizontal relation and once we have that we can start adding our dimension um, this is 16 
and from here to here is 33 and the height is 9 and our sketch is all black meaning it's fully defined so what we can do now is go to feature extrude cut and we want to extrude cut through all and click OK and there we have it we are done with this part and oh there's one more thing we need to do just add our fillet so um, you go to your fillet um, the fillet size is 3 and select this edge and select that edge and there you have it and click OK and we are done and I like this part it's pretty much it's very easy but um, you just have to realize that this cylinder is at an angle and you need to draw a plane that is also at an angle to this face not perpendicular anyway thank you um, if you have any question please feel free to leave a comment email me or however you can get in touch with me thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial bye